Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we're going to take a look at a situation where uh, we've gotten several calls from our customers saying, hey, look, we were out on a job site and for one reason or another uh, we had to leave, but come back to the same job site the next day or the next week or the next month. And uh, we want to know the best way to combine the data that originally was collected with the new data, all from the same location. So what we've got set up here on the computer is uh, we'll say it's the uh, first day's scan data. Uh, as you can see, we've got a group of scans here. They have been registered. We've got green lights uh, and we have put them into a cluster. Uh, this is a, something that is going to need to be done uh, to make this process easier. And if you've never created a cluster uh, on your own, it's easy. You just go to the main scans folder, right click and go to new and choose cluster. You're going to give it a name and uh, there can't be any spaces in that name for some reason, but you give it a name and then you can just drag and drop the scans into that cluster. And uh, when you do, when you do that, you may have to go back and uh, go into registration and register the cluster. Even if it was registered prior to that, uh, you're going to register the cluster as though it has never been registered. Uh, but what that does is it gives you uh, basically a folder uh, that is going to encapsulate the data that's already been collected and, uh, and completely registered. So uh, what this next process here is, this is going to be uh, theoretically the set of scans that was done when it, you came in uh, the next day or the next week. And you would simply highlight them drag, drop them into your project, and we've got a successful import. And as you can see, because we initially have this data that we scanned previously, we put it into its own cluster. Now it remains registered. It's a green light locked cluster. Very important that that's locked. If you don't know how to lock it, just right click on your scan manager and you can lock or unlock the cluster. So. What we've got now is another group of scans, theoretically day two. And the most efficient way to put these scans together isn't uh, to just dump them all into the project and then re-register everything. There's no point in re-registering the scans that were already registered. So uh, what we're going to do, uh, first we're going to save the project a little easier on our computer if it's been saved. Now that we've successfully saved our project here, the next step is going to be to go ahead and create a second cluster that's going to encapsulate what would be day two. So again, we're going to come to the scans folder, the main scans folder, right click, new and cluster. Now just simply highlight all of the scans that were just brought in and drag them into day two. Don't worry about the scan manager up here. We're going to go ahead and take care of that, but not right now. Again, you see scans day two, scans day one. Day one, we've already went through a registration, so we've just got a registration for scans day two. We can jump directly into registration because there are no scan targets that are used. So as we can see here, day two, this cl cluster, we just go simply to this registration icon, start automatic registration. Again, we're not using any targets, so there's no point in the target-based registration. Top base, cloud to cloud. We're going to choose both. This is going to uh, rotate each scan from the top looking down and looking for common geography, corners, walls, furniture, edges, whatnot. It will put the scans together that way, then go through register again with cloud to cloud looking for common XYZ points, which will tighten that registration up and give you a better accuracy. So we'll go and register and verify everything else can stay the same. As you can see here, we uh, our remaining scans from the new day were automatically split into two different clusters. So we'll go ahead and load 
everything up. Uh, this can be dealt with pretty quickly. So we will just say yes, that's correct. And looks like our break is at 35 to 37. So the first few scans didn't match with the next ones. We're going to treat this as though it's a brand new scan project here. So here's scans day two, two different clusters. What we can do is view this in a correspondence view. <clears throat> Load the scans. See if we can just rotate these scans and uh, put them together quickly. And after going through just a couple of simple rotations with uh, our split scan to day two data, uh, we just put that together quickly. So we've got a uh, cluster for scans day one and now a cluster for scans day two. Uh, our registrations are as good as they're going to get for each day. So in order to put these two scan clusters together, we're going to go into the registration page once again, and uh, we're going to, instead of combining all of these scans together again, uh, we're just going to combine basically two entities, two clusters. As we can see, once we collapse everything, it's a, it's a very clean, uh, nice looking, screen here we've got the two entities we're going to put together again we're going to go to the registration portion we're going to start automatic registration uh, this is asking for cloud to cloud we can do that uh, but once again we are only putting the two clusters together there's not re-registering all the scans because they are in separate clusters each cluster is locked now it looks like we've got a good registration. We'll let this load. Scans day one and day two have come together nicely. Now you can't see this because we paused our screen capture, but it comes together very quickly because like I said, the scene software is registering one cluster with another cluster. They're treating the cluster as though it's one scan. So very important to lock each cluster, and that's uh, going to give you a quick result when you scan when you register the two together. So we'll finish that, jump into our explore page, and we've got a nice complete project here that was scanned on two different uh, occasions, and we've put it all together in one uh, one project name. Thanks, this is Nick with Atlantic Laser. Let us know if there's any, anything specific you'd like to see us get into, and uh, we'll try to put a video together and address it. Good luck.